Okay, yeah, it's going. Okay. Um, I told you I'd show you how to do it, so here it goes. Spray paint, most of it's gloss, not all of it's gloss, because I don't all have gloss. Glossy magazine papers, that's what you'll need. Some round figurines for your moons, planets, stars, whatever you are planning on doing. Um, so now I'm going to start with a planet in the left hand corner. I want my base planet to be green, some blue for the water. This bug will get on my face. Some lighter brown for the land. I said moon, planet, something, whatever you want. That's what I said. No, I said it doesn't zoom in. Like it, no, not on a video. Hold on. You might have to come around. Now you're gonna have to crinkle. What? Just falling. Then tighten the handle. I don't know how to do that. Crinkle for the amount you want. Place it on there. Take it off. Takes off what you want. If it doesn't get with the area where you want it to take off, just come around, do that. Now, I want to come off the page, so I'll place it lightly. Um, now, I'm going to do another planet, and I want the base of that to be blue. I'm going to do it over here. I'm getting lighter here because I'm going to put a star in the middle. Now I'm going to put some brown on it for land. Lightly color it. Now um, I'm going to crinkle a little bit of it. I'm actually going to take some off already. Because I'm actually going to do two planets in one on the same area. Now I'm going to take my axe can. I'm going to place it right here. Actually, I can't because I don't have a flat little circle. Um, so this bucket's not big enough to cover it, is it? Just barely. That sucks. I need that. Oh, but I'm wanting to add some stuff to this one. I wanted to add some yellow before I do that. I'm going to be yellow. I want to add some, what was it, green? wherever my green went. I'm going to take another sheet, crinkle it. Take it off, there's your dad. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put the bucket over it. I kind of have the bar on the wrong side, don't I? Plants give it texture. Now, that's what I want. Now, of course, black everywhere because I'm doing a solar system type deal. Well, actually, I'm going to put do a small nebula right here. I've been wanting to do this one, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Blue, light blue. A little bit of red on top of it. <coughs> I'm about to spray that the wrong way. Now a little bit of darker blue on top. With a little bit of yellow. It's going to be a nice nebula. It's going to be very colorful. Now I'm going to spray black everywhere. Just black everywhere. 
like I said, you, when you wanna, when you do plant it, you wanna make sure you get around the circumference in there. And make sure you get the edges very much. I'm gonna lighten it up along this edge because that's where I'm gonna put the nebula and the, the star. I'm gonna cover this entire star now. My black's running out. Okay, now that's entirely covered, I'm going to take and reveal my nebula. Crinkle it up, how much ever you want. Take it, place it. Nice little nebula there. I want it to kind of extend out from there, so I'm gonna have a little piece come off in the distance. Fades out. Now I'm going to make my star, which I'm going to put a little ring of blue around the planet. Take and spray a little light blue. In the center where I want my planet. I'm at my star. Take okay. a little bit of yellow. Also go around. And then white to finish it off. The finishing touch will be your stars, which the stars will be sprayed upon your finger, then flicked. planets. I did not do that one well around the corner, but that's okay, easy fix. Now I did not dimension that correctly. Because the light is coming from that side, I will darken this end in. Lightly. Are you going to? Yeah. I'm sorry. And there's the finish.